Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk. Welcome to this video where I want to show you how to use Umbraco Packages Scriptwriter. So this is the site, it's psw.codeshare.co.uk. And the whole point of this site is to give you this script so that you can easily install Umbraco and the packages for Umbraco. Um, what we've got on the first tab is all the packages that are compatible with Umbraco V9. These are coming straight from our Umbraco packages. So we can have a look for packages by the name of the package. So you can start searching for it. So if we look for uh, Uskind, and then there's lots of themes for Uskind, and you've got the site builder there. Um, you know, things like that. You can look for Contentment by Lee Kelleher. You can look for the package author name. So you can see Kevin Jump. Um, you can do all of that. So that's how you, that's how you find the packages in this list. You could just scroll down them and tick them. The order that you tick them is the order that they'll be added. So if I wanted to, I could add contentment first and then clean starter kit and then Bergmania and then auto dictionaries. And if we click on generate script, this now has generated this in the order that we, we tick them. Um, if you want to clear the packages, you can do that and then it will keep the other settings. So what we have here is options. So in that script here, we've got it's going to install Umbraco templates. This is going to do the latest version and that's because we left it on latest stable version. We can untick this and generate and now it won't install Umbraco. Um, we can include a starter kit or not. So actually where I picked clean starter kit from that list, I don't need to, I can do it from here. So I want to install Umbraco. So actually I'll start over, go to options. I do want to install Umbraco, but I don't want to include a starter kit. If I generate the script now, there we go. It doesn't add that package. I can then, if I want to go through and just pick packages. I don't need to install a starter kit. Maybe you already have Umbraco installed or you just want the script for the packages. Then you can untick install Umbraco, untick um, in, include a starter kit, untick create a solution file and you can delete the project name. And you can untick unattended install. This at this point doesn't make a difference. If you generate then all it's got at the moment is .NET run. So let's add some packages. So we'll do contentment, Add that um, we can the examine content out perhaps and click on generate script. Now it's got the script for adding those packages. So you can just copy that script and you can put that into your uh, command line or terminal or whatever you use. And that's the script that you needed for it. So again, if we start over, we go to options. Um, what's really good about this is you can choose the different versions as well that you want to install. So at the moment, there's a release candidate out for Umbraco 10. So maybe you want to try out Umbraco 10. So you choose that version. And with Umbraco 10, you can use either local DB or SQLite. Now you don't have to have an attended install. You, you, um, there are more options. You can use SQL Azure and all that. So if you untick this, you'll get to go through the installer wizard. But by using this, you don't need to go through the installer wizard. So let's just choose SQLite, which should be cross-platform and work um, on Linux and Mac and things like that. So I'm going to include a starter kit. I'm going to do um, portfolio starter kit. I'll get it to create a solution file for me. Um, let's just say I'll call it portfolio. And that's portfolio.site. So this is the name of my web project that I want. That's the name of the uh, solution file that I want. Uh, the login details that I want it to create for me for Umbraco are there. If I just generate script now, it's going to um, do a new clean install of Umbraco 10, the release candidate. It's got everything that I need. It's going to install the database and everything for me. And it's going to do it with a portfolio starter kit package as well. So I can just copy script go to my folder where I want to install this to, right click, I'm opening mine in terminal. You might be using PowerShell or um, Bash or whatever you use. Um, this is also using PowerShell within my Windows terminal. 
One thing to note, I think this script only works because it's got the env. You might need to change that for how your um, command line interface works. However you set your environment variables, this is currently for, I think, it's currently for PowerShell. Anyway, if we go back here and go back to the terminal that I just opened, all we do is just paste and then enter and paste anyway. And that's it. That's going to install on Braco for us. It's already got the template installed. If it had a different template installed, it would uninstall that one that's installed from Braco and install this one over it instead. It's um, going through creating um, everything. This is now doing the unattended install settings for the connection string and everything like that. And we've added the portfolio um, package and everything. So I think it's just going to be running. Um, when it gets to this stage, it's getting ready to, it's building the site. We can even look in the folder and we'll see. It's got as a solution file, it's got as a site, and in there is the Embraco project. You don't need to have a solution file. You might just want to use VS Code and just open the folder with VS Code, and you can do that. Again, that was one of the options on here. You can just untick that create a solution file and it won't. And now let's go here. It's already done. So I'm going to control click on that one. And this will be Umbraco 10 um, using SQLite. Um, on my machine, I didn't have to know anything. All I had to do was just make a few choices what I wanted. Told it the name of everything and what login details to use. So now I've got my site here. This is all on Umbraco 10 release candidate. And then I can log in as well. If we go to forward slash Umbraco, remember the login details are the ones that I created here. Oh, I think I didn't copy that in the end. Log in. There we are. So you click on this, it tells you what version of Umbraco you're using. So yeah, it's Umbraco 10. That's how you can easily get started with Umbraco 10 and everything like that. But yeah, really, the whole point of this is just to make installing Umbraco or installing packages really easy. You can just look it up and you can just, um, like we can clear the packages, start over, Let's just have a look, see what the install is for that Anaxi mapper. All oh, right, it's just that. So if you wanted to, you just copy that and then paste it in. Oh, but it's got my project in there. That's fine. We'll just untick these and delete that. Generate script. There we go. Perfect. So I hope you like it. I hope you use it. I'm sorry about the name psw.codeshare.co.uk, but I couldn't think of a good name. Um, if you can think of any good names, put it in the comments and I'm happy to change the URL um, or make this one redirect to it or whatever. But yeah, package script writer, use it, share it. Oh, the, one of the most important things I didn't tell you, the URL is actually um, got all the options in the URL. So you can save it, you can bookmark it. So you might have some settings that you always use. So you can just save a bookmark. And so whenever you come back to the page, it's already loaded with your settings. And all you then do is just add your packages that you want. So yeah, that's, and then also, if you want to, you can, if you want to share it with someone and they don't know, what's the script to install Umbraco 10 um, with SQLite? I don't know what it is. You can just share the link to these options here and send that off to someone and they can just click on it and it will load fully configured. And when they first load the page, it will uh, load with the options for them. If you like the video, please click on like, subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing some more videos about Umbraco 9 and 10 soon. If you do want to say thanks and buy me a coffee, it would be appreciated, but it's never expected. But yeah, you can go to codeshare.co.uk slash coffee if you did want to do that. Thanks for watching. Look out for some more videos. See you later.